got to get this section cleaned out i'm gonna have to start taking these panels off here so i can get the tractor in here <sighs> gotta fix the gate up because that's where we put the baby goats at night after we uh after we separate so we can milk that's we do a little kid sharing with them uh, but that is not the first worry the first worry is to get these panels down that way i can get the tractor in here and clean the stuff out of here now i just gotta figure out where to put it all All right, we got it all cleared. Look, look how happy these chickens are. Get in there and get the bugs or anything that's in there out. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff. And it's just temporary until we can get the dogs and the goats out of the garden. Then we will spread the compost up in the garden and mix with the stuff out of the raking house, add it into the raised beds, might spread some on the fields this spring. Uh, but majority of it's going to go up in our garden. The soil up there in our garden when we first moved in here is pretty bad. <laughs> it didn't really grow much. I mean, the first year we didn't put any amendments or anything on it at all. And nothing grew. Um, partly due to inexperience, but a lot of it was due to the nutrients in the soil. It just wasn't there. I mean, this was all sagebrush up here. It was undisturbed. Nothing was growing here. So when we came up here and we disturbed it and started adding stuff to it, um we didn't actually get a good garden until after the first like two years and then we had a really good garden and then we've continued to add stuff to it every year so regardless i gotta get the tractor in here and then i need to figure out where i'm gonna put all this compost um and then i'll put down some new fresh hay and get it all ready for the goats all right after thinking about it over a cup of coffee probably just gonna leave it for now we need to get some wood chips because if I pile it all up in a pile and say set it over here, it's going to smell if we're not able to put anything on top of it. And if we're wasting our good hay that we're feeding to the goats and we're going to have to put it down for bedding, then we're going to be going through a lot of hay. So we got it open. The chickens will scratch in it, turn it, and uh, then uh, we'll go get some wood chips. <clears throat> Maybe hopefully next week we can find some. I don't know with the weather. Uh, but if we can find some, then we can definitely get all this cleaned out and get it ready for baby goats.
So I do need to fix that board real quick because that is where the geese are able to get in and out. We've been locking them up in here at night and that's keeping them away from the chickens. Too many geese with this many chickens and the geese just trample over the top of the chickens and they can actually cause more stress uh, than good. So we've been separating them. Plus with the rabbit mamas in there, the geese squawking all the time, it causes some additional stress. Uh, so we've have separated the geese and it seems to help. However, with the geese being this close, they're on the other side of the rabbits, they are still, I think, providing some stress by making so much noise. So we're gonna be readdressing that, but for now, Let's just get this board fixed. There we go, and it's through all fixed. Let's go see how the garden's doing. Hi, girls. Hello, dogs. Hello, how's my garden? My garden. No, stay down. Stay down, good girls. Good girls, come up to check on y'all. We got lots of compost in here this year. Nope, stay down. Lots of compost. Nope, stay down. Thank you. Good girls. Well, you can see where the sun hits up here. Even got some green grass coming up. But yeah, there's easily still a foot, foot and a half of snow up in that pasture. That one. Still lots of snow. It's definitely warming up, hitting about 50, 55 during the day, but still got a little bit to go before this snow's gone. Well, honestly, now that chores are done, I'm kind of thinking about the spot a little bit more. I could put my T-post in that stuff, raise the fencing up some, that way that's pretty much the ground level there. And then I could add more hay in there. Um, and it could possibly work the same rather than clean it all out. And there's really not but maybe six inches of bedding in there. So it wouldn't be too, it wouldn't be too bad. So yeah, we'll have to think about that one tomorrow when we come back out here. Goose, you want your pool out of there? I don't know if it even works. I don't know if it'll hold water. Should we see? Wanna see? Let's see if we can put some water in it for you. See if it even holds water. Dump it out. We don't want it to get cold. You guys are all wet. We'll let you dry off for a bit. Play it up more tomorrow. <laughs>